Can you hear me? Good. Hey, so let's talk about mobile. Let's talk about New Zealand. New Zealand is roughly split 50-50 between telecom and Vodafone. That might have changed considering the last four weeks. <laughs> Two degrees is the Stewart Island. Uh, there are more mobile phones than people in New Zealand. In the world, there are 4.6 billion phones and only 6.8 billion handsets. But for every one person with a credit card, there are two with a mobile phone. And uh, there are more households with a mobile phone than there are with a television. 70% of people sleep with their mobile phone next to their bed. It's that personal. 40% of people would rather lose their wallet than their mobile phone. It's an incredibly personal device. It's also immediate. Straight away, this woman thought, oh, I can't drink my Starbucks. I can't go to my New Year's Eve party. I've got to text someone or check her email or whatever. Uh, it's, uh, it's also convergent. Uh, it's not just a phone anymore. Uh, it's also a camera phone, not a camera stuck to a phone. Uh, it's also your diary and your Facebook uh, client and your chat client and your stocks. So this is something that we did to help harness these sorts of things. It was for land transport safety. It was an ad that appeared on Stuff and Yahoo and Herald and all that. Little mouse over, it says, text this driver right now. Roll over for details. And you text it, uh, mouse over. And it said, text this code and your message this short code. This is still live, by the way. You can check out textthedriver.co.nz. So I get my phone and I text my code and my message. And eventually the phone down here goes, doot, doot. Doot, doot. And what comes up is my message from my number. But you've crossed over into the other lane and a car comes and crashes into you and then you're static and lost signal and what have you and you get a text message back saying distracted drivers are dangerous drivers. Now, I don't know, but the law got changed last year, so we did okay there. This was another drink driving one that we did targeted towards rural drivers. You saw this poster and you there were four different personas that you could send in for. Basically how it worked was that you're out, you're having a few beers with your mates and you get a bit concerned about one of them's drinking habits. He's not right to drive, so you text their number and one of the characters' names to a certain uh, code. They get a message saying, hi, it's the surgeon here. If you're going to crash, protect your ass because I'm going to do skin grafts from your bottom. So talking of bottoms, uh, we pushed a button and sank a boat to the bottom of the south coast. That was all done uh, to decide who did it. It was all a game of battleships that we ran every day via text for telecom. This is a green screen situation. We had advertising a new display at Tapapa where you stood in front of a green screen, sent your picture in and you got a uh, text back with you and the background, New Zealand background comped in and then you could send that to your friends and what have you. This was a hot or not type application we did for Optus in Australia where you pixted yourself in or you sent a video and people were able to vote whether you needed fame or shame. There was also a, one related to uh, so you think you can dance, a dance off one. Um, for the Air Force what we've done is we've uh, this boring text uh, recruitment type things there but we also did an exciting scavenger hunt on the mobile web so you went to different websites to find out what the numbers of their um, runways were up north. Um, these are QR codes. At least one person here has a QR code on the back of their jacket. That's a 2D barcode. You're going to see more of these everywhere. They'll take you to a mobile website or give you text information. You find them on gravestones in Tokyo and uh, on uh, real estate thingies. Uh, Eric Schmidt, he's the CEO of Google, betting high on mobile. Mobile is the answer to everything he said the other day. They've, they're rolling out 60,000 mobile phones every day with the uh, Google Android um, OS on it. This woman here is one of the Americans who are more American, there's more time spent on the mobile Facebook page than the desktop Facebook page. And uh, we've started rolling out um, text support for a certain social networking site on a certain network in New Zealand and this is the sort of growth we've seen in the last six months. Uh, so you also have uh, crazy statistics about the amount of time that's been spent on mobile phones nowadays as well. Now Cisco reckon in 2014 there's going to be 40 exabytes of data on the mobile web every year. Now an exabyte is, it goes gig, terabyte, petabyte, exabyte. And they reckon two thirds of them are going to be mobile video, YouTube. And also a bunch of uh, manufacturers are going to start rolling out um, standard chargers. So you'll be able to use your mate's charger instead of panicking and not being able to find one. 
So those are starting to get out, rolled out this year. So that's the future of mobile, and that's my time. Thank you.